You'll want to think about how this piece of information is put out into the world. How is it being published? Who is publishing this information and controlling the purse strings? Because usually there's always money behind it. Follow the money. Is that publication entity influencing how the information is being relayed? Because they may have their own bias and privilege and slant on on how they're using the facts or if they're giving more opinions rather than facts. Take a look at the web address. You can get a lot of clues just by looking at what the website's name is. So the domain names are usually consistent of three parts that are separated by periods. You've got the www bit, the first part, www, indicates the protocol or language used in accessing the address. The second part, like Lone Star, represents the name of the institution or organization hosting the site. And the last part, the .edu, which is what we call the domain name, is the code indicating the type of entity serving as the network host. So what this means is just by looking at the .com, .edu, .gov, you can get a really quick glance into what type of information you're going to get. So .com are more commercial entities. They are likely trying to sell you on a product or an idea. They're, they'll have a very specific purpose for sharing information and that information can have a bias with it that you have to be very careful about. Doesn't mean you can't use it, you just need to be careful. .edu are education institutions. And they're great places to get information because they're there to share and educate the public. Just be careful that sometimes there are student blogs on educational institutional websites. So just make sure you're aware of where it's going, where that website is leading you. .gov are government websites. And sure, governments do have a bias, but they're usually going to have reliable data that accounts for the number of people like that. But I can tell you, United States.gov websites are going to have a wealth of resources and wonderful information. So I would say that yes, they're a reliable source. .orgs are nonprofit organizations that are there to share information too, but their bias can be present in maybe the slant in which they approach information. You've also got .biz, .net, .info. Those are sort of like the catch-alls, and so you just have to be very, you have to make the effort of really exploring what their purpose is. So I would, so look at their about page, read their mission, their vision, and their purpose statements. That's going to tell you a lot about why they are sharing this information with you. Another tip is limit your search results to a domain or website. If you enter site colon dot edu, all the results from your search are going to be from education websites. You could even go a little bit further by putting in site colon lonestar.edu and you should only get results from within the Lone Star website. It's awesome.